Hello, it is Deanna with Divine Destiny. It is Wednesday, November 27th. Coming on today, my channel's all about real and raw, but I'm coming on this morning. Um, just this side of the new moon, still in that energy. However, ever since my spiritual awakening occurred, I am more in tune as an empath and as sensitive to energy than more than ever and the realization of as above so below I feel every time I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Schumann resonance but that is Mother Earth's heartbeat she responds to not only our consciousness rising but also um, anytime we have solar ejections or flares which happen often with our sun, especially in this ascension and spiritual awakening. The energy from the sun enters our atmosphere, our magnetosphere, and then it affects Mother Earth's heartbeat. And the Schumann resonance is what that's called. If you've never checked it out, check it out. We are definitely all connected. So my spiritual awakening caused me to be energetically aware of that. Um, and so it'll come through as it's different for every every one of us it could be a change in sleep personally it started for me around dinner time last night Eastern Standard Time oh I would say between maybe 6 and 8 p.m. and how I feel it energetically come through me as an empath is sometimes jittery like a feeling of anxiety and then feeling a burst of energy through you so it's almost familiar it's almost similar to fight or flight um, the numbers and what the regular normal pattern has been is never ever fluctuated to the extreme that it is now so some people experience the anxiety like I said um, headaches and I'm starting to get one now I'm feeling the energy move through me. I immediately can decipher now whether it be my own emotions and energy or if it's the collective. And so I pick up on that, not only with people, but also Mother Earth. So the heartbeat's changing as these fluxes of light keep coming in from the sun, of course. We're energetic beings. And I noticed myself being more sensitive I may have felt this all my life and just blamed it on something in the physical but it directly impacts us and so headaches are one anxiety I notice anytime we have big fluxes of that a couple few days later I'll end up feeling tension in my muscles really increase your water right now like I said this is the 27th so we're in that new moon energy still as of right now but we had this influx of the solar winds and the solar um, energy coming in and entering, not only going through us, but also the planet. And that's part of the ascension. It's adjusting our DNA, literally, physically. Um, so my sleep, I haven't slept. I went to sleep maybe 3 a.m., back up at 6 a.m., I don't fight these energies anymore now that I'm aware. That's why I'm sharing this with you guys. The best thing that I have found is to just really surrender to God, Creator, Source and speak it from my mind's eye like, okay, I'm feeling this energy again. I'm aware it's a part of our ascension. Help me to balance my nervous system. Heart, I had heart palpitations really intense around 3 a.m., little bit starting before that that's another indication too you know I'm not replacing any sort of uh, physicians care but I'm here to share with you with us being empaths and sensitive we're energetic beings and we are definitely doing some readjusting as as above so below our planet um, super important I say this on my channel often to ground and part of it is because of all the energy fluxes that we are integrating 
and adjusting and recalculating too. So make sure you're grounding. Important to work on your breath work. Also today, this is another thing going from the energy. It is also, we are now experiencing Neptune going direct. And this has been in retrograde for five months. So around June, it really called us... Um, into a space Neptune's very spiritual very intuitive um, symbolic of us right and it's had us go inner and focus on maybe our dreams and our, un our unseen things in our world a lot of inner things going with the retrograde Neptune um, over the past five months so we've been doing a load of inner work um, when it's in retrograde, we may feel, and I know this is very, the last five months could make, bring your awareness to maybe you lost a lack of vision over the past, not physical vision, direction within you, um, on which direction you are going. Now that Neptune is going direct today on November 27th, we are in the this forward momentum right symbolic of it going out of retrograde going direct of a five month cycle so it won't go retrograde again until um when is it it's been in retrograde for the past five months but it, this is an annual process and the reason i share that here is because as above so below it's happening think back since June have you been deep diving you know there's many other things that are impacting and influencing us to do that self-reflection but maybe now with the Neptune going forward this new moon in Sag still in the energy of that we have a new vision today's an important day to stop often take 10-15 minutes to sit down put your hand over your heart Quiet your mind, go into your heart, and ask your soul what your new vision is, what your soul wants for you going forward. Do that often today. Um, sit quietly, often. Ask, do that. And, and whatever comes to you when you're asking soul, what is my new vision? What do I, what do I desire going forward? You know, it might be a good idea to journal that, give you some inspiration. Um, this has been an annual journey within to connect with spirit. Some could call this the dark night of the soul. So has the past five months for you been pretty deep? I know it has for many of us. This allowed us to surrender to trust the deep spiritual Neptune very symbolic of godly um, the unseen realms to be in a mindset in a, in a heart space of less control more being I know that's huge for me I've definitely um, felt that within me and it was a much needed trip that we all dive dove deep in and maybe you haven't dove deep in it but for many of us we have um really just think about it neptune now turns direct for another year and the emphasis is to lead with spirit and soul every day i know that's been huge for me i've been saying that on my spiritual awakening journey um a lot is that we're dropping out of the logical mind and trying to figure everything out and feel like you have control because you don't really if you think about it in the larger scheme of things you can you only have control control over you your um outlook on things and holding your energy accountable so it's a matter of not having to have everything logically figured out you'll just drive yourself batty with that i used to do it I'm a sun sign Virgo, I'm a thinker, I'm a planner, and it's really a time to trust your intuition, go by your heart instead of your logical mind. Not saying making lofty decisions, right, without taking action in the physicality, but that's what it's pointing us to collectively as well. 
is to be guided. No wonder why I couldn't see you guys. I have coconut oil all over. Like, I've, I've gotten maybe three hours of sleep, but spirits, like, go on. Share the significance of the Schumann resonance spiking again. There's going to be other sensitives out there that have felt it as well. Um, I, like I said, it started somewhere. I felt it between 6 and 8 p.m., and then again around 2, 3 a.m. it started again with heart palpitations and hot flushes. They almost feel like um, mid, you know, like change of life type symptoms. Hot, flushy face, heart palpitations, my earlobes getting totally red. And so I think I'm gonna sum this up. The importance of sharing this is because we're energetic beings. And if you sensitives, are going through some deep stuff and feeling this energy just remember as long as it's not your logical mind overthinking things and trying to have everything figured out I cannot ex I cannot express the importance of breath work taking deep cleansing breaths into your nose into your solar plexus settling down into heart do that often today you know Neptune going direct a little we just came out of like a five month deal of feeling like dark night of the soul stuff plus we had Scorpio season on top of that which is another deep thing I am going to do an oracle from the cryon energetic master he's assisting humanity with the shift that Gaia and ourselves are going through I think it's a perfect deck to choose right now because we just had that spike in the Schumann again energetically really affecting all of us so what is it that the energetic beautiful be being cryon would like us to to know today November 27th this can be a timeless message benevolent energy activation activation just look at those colors the energy that we are feeling transforming integrating into our DNA is benevolent I call it the Christ did white light the Christ return to Christians is they think he's coming back and is physical he already ascended in the physical he was here to teach love and compassion Benevolent en energy to me, God, creator, source, but Yeshua is one of my guides, so you'll hear me on my channel speaking about the Ascended Master. Um, it's all about that Christ consciousness for me, and that's nothing to do with religion. The benevolence of who we are, I mean, as above, so below. Look at the beautiful colors in there. If you look to the heavens at night when the stars are shining... You hold your hand over your heart. Trust me, you'll realize. I want to read from this. That's super pretty. It's a newer deck to me. And when I awoke, when I woke, I started feeling my sensitivities even more than ever. And now I not only pick up on physical, human, I always did. I just didn't understand it. Um, energy of people. I also feel the energy of Gaia and what she's integrating so nothing's disconnected for any of us I'm just awake to it now that's why I also use um, Oracle on my channel synchronicity is learning to acknowledge the higher self and the fact that God is inside it shows a willingness to listen the way listen in a way you never have before to the source that is personal loving benevolent and beautiful an energy that will never change from lee and lee is the one that channels cryon the magnetic master that's here to assist humanity so we're all channels we just got to tap into it you'll have your gifts found and they're changing right now as well I can remember when I first learned of the possibility that inside us there is another separate entity, the higher self. My first reaction, where is it? The answer I got to the question, where is love? In other words, there are some things that are very real to each of us, but which do not have a 3D place. 
this card ties the idea of the higher self creating synchronicity so therefore the more you acknowledge the idea that there really is a piece of God inside of you the more synchronicity you create within your life path you begin listening more to the esoteric things around you that's called intuition are you beginning to see how those are connected you're always in a soup of benevolent energy so in actual fact this card is now asking you what would you like to create when you are ready place your order and sh your pure intent and relax in the knowledge that it's already on its way expect benevolent energy in your life I believe that our consciousness affects the Schumann resonance directly and that is helping and assisting Mother Earth is the one that sustains us that divine feminine energy that sustains us in the womb we're all connected the tapestry is beautiful and that common denominator is that God creator source is within each one of us it's in all things I hope you enjoyed this short YouTube today if you're new please do like subscribe shared to my returning listeners thanks for coming and being real and raw with me the sleep lack of the energy of the Schumann the energy that flows through me is in my heart space I send this to you with so much love I send that all out to you Many blessings and namaste.